Hello and welcome to my top five YouTuber live trading losses. Starting us off at number five is YouTuber Mayor Barack, who is long in Tesla. He takes advantage of the dip on the gap up to take a long position. Nine, and it's up now, but it's extremely dangerous because it's the first few minutes of the trading session, and I don't know which direction Tesla is going to pick. But as you can see, I'm already up 10 grand, and it's looking good. After checking in on a different trade, he comes back to his Tesla trade to see that his long position has turned sour. It just failed to move higher and it's getting back to the lows where I should have my stop. I'm getting ready to stop it. I'm already down $14,000. That's very bad. That's very bad. I need to see it stopping just a bit, relaxing a bit. Oh, what a spike down. I do not move out on spikes. Look at that. That's terrible. $27,000 down. You know, the case with Tesla is that it's strong today. I'm looking at the daily. Tesla should move up today, but I'm down 33,000. This is terrible. It spiked down. I do not move out on spikes. It is moving down. Just close the gap. I expect it to stop somewhere around here because when the stock is moving down, closing the gap, at many, many, many times it would find its support right over there at the point where it closes the gap and this should be it right here and again the market started down a bit but I'm looking at the daily of the market I expect the market to move higher I expect Tesla to move higher today I hope I'm not mistaken here it just spiked down I do not move out on spikes although I'm starting to be to feel sorry about this one down 32 35 thousand dollars oh my god this is terrible Next up is YouTuber Max Santia, who placed multiple out-of-the-money call options on Tesla, going bullish once again on Tesla. Market open, and we're oh, we're up, we're up, we're up, we're up, we're up. Um, what the? F Why did you say I'm down five grand? Um, what the? F Coming in at number three is the well-known Patrick Wyland with a triple hit of an opportunity loss followed by two painful to see losses. So I'd like to see BL and K kind of work itself back up here a little bit. Let's see if we can get filled here at 520. Having some trouble there at the 524. Wow, there's the drop. Oh. So not getting filled there at 520. Wow, that stinks. Oh man. Come on now. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Try to get filled there at 520. All right, so let's see now if this $5 area turns into a resistance here. So it looks like looking nice Look for some little pop back up here. Wow, oh, gotta be kidding me now, 480s now. You gotta be kidding me. Oh my baby Jesus, that 520 entry would have been so beautiful, so, so beautiful. Let's see if we can get filled here, 6010, not getting filled. Trying to get filled there twice at 610 area, just not getting filled. Ugh, come on now. I'm gonna try 500 here at 599. On BLNK. I'm looking for this pull back down to the 560s. We got 565 so far, looking for a little bit deeper here. 560, give me 560 baby, come on. I wanna see BLNK get down there to the 560s. Come on baby, get down there. Right here, come on. 560s, come on, baby. Drop on me. Get on down there. Get on down there.
Things didn't explode there. I'm going to jump out. Oh, now it dropped. Wow. Are you kidding me? Oh. thought this was going to break back above $6 right there and just fail. Down there to 565. It was really holding this trend there, holding the EMA. I thought, oh, it's going to explode again. Oh, you know, seeing this move earlier. Look at that fake out. Total fake out. Wow. Oh. All right, got the full fill there. Wow, there's a drop. Down to the 530s. See if this pulls back up there. Don't want to get out for that loss. I was hoping that 550 area would hold as support. And look at it now. It's getting crushed. That was a bad idea. Real bad idea. Terrible idea, actually. Watch it, just going down here. Down 200 hours now. Trying to get some type of pop back up here, but it just does not. Looks like it's about to get halted or something. Getting halted on the down. Oh my god. Worst case scenario right now. Worst case scenario. Oh ho 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 ho. Worst case scenario. Wow. Coming in at number two is Trader Tom. Trader Tom is a professional trader who streams on YouTube and has a ton of free resources. And I actually highly recommend that you check him out. It's a great reminder in this clip that all traders take losses. If the Nasdaq begins to trade above 940, we really should be buyers of it. Because we got an inside bar here. Uh, edit, here we go. I'm thinking this stop loss might actually be way too tight. I'm in here. This is what the chart looks like. Let's see if we got any bias in this area at all. Oh my God, I'm absolutely being hosed today. Not working. Take a miracle not to get stopped out here. Ah. Classic. Just went above that bar where I thought we were going to be biased. Right here. Just went above it. Two bar reversal, back down again. I got stopped out. Thought, this is it, we're going to break out again. I read that wrong. And finally, coming in at number one, no top trading losses would be complete without this classic, iconic clip from Chansey1979. Okay, I just launched some AMRN right here uh, off of this support right here. Uh, bounced up a little bit, uh, past this uh, 50 period moving average. Uh, good thing this chance, uh, good chances think you go green, so you know, maybe. Maybe uh, make a nice little chunk along the thousand shares and see what happens with this thing. Okay, come on, come on, just keep on moving. Shit. Shit. Come on, man. Well, fuck, it's got some support right here, so you know maybe it'll hang on to this 16 area, bounce back up. Come on. Oh shit! Oh shit, dude! What the fuck? I just lost 1500 bucks. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Oh, no, no. And those are my top five YouTuber live trading losses. Let me know which one was your favorite and why in the comments section below this video. Be sure to subscribe and like the video to help support my channel. If you know of or have any other interesting trading clips, send them my way and they may make it into a future video. Link is in the description below. Until next time, trade what you see and not what you think. Later.